Hello wonderful people of the verse. Today we're going to be doing a build video on the Gladius. Yes, so as we all know, this is hit gold standard. This ship looks really great. It's got a lot of functionality right now. So if you actually start up the ship using R or uh, U and I, it will actually go through the processes of clicking those buttons inside the cabin, which is really cool. Um, there's a lot of great features to this ship right now, obviously being that it's hitting gold standard and it, they're getting it ready for Squadron 42 pretty much because this is going to be the ship that you're flying around. So why not get ahead and get this ship, you know, ahead of where you want it to be, get good with it so that when Squadron 42 is released, you don't really have any worries of, you know, fighting in this ship. Now, the build that I'm going to show you is actually really good. There's actually a few builds you can do with this as well. Um, but the one I'm going to show you is one that does really good for me. And you can do up to VHRT in this ship. So take that into account and really think about how you can utilize this ship. So we're going to be going over it. As you can see, um, I'm doing some HRTs right now, VHRTs. I'm taking down bounties. It's just sort of a process that I go through and show you guys the actual demonstration of the ship. So with this ship, obviously it's a small fighter, it's nothing special, but I think that people really don't really, like, they don't think about this ship too much as being a great ship or being too much of a fighting ship. I mean, I like to use it as well as a low flyer and just going through Atmo. It's just really great for a lot of things. Now, if you don't use it for this, I would definitely suggest uh, going and using it for low flying, going through Atmo and just using uh, SCM, so safe combat maneuvering speed. As you can see, you got that red line there. If you go over that, it sort of does... Um, it's a little bit hard to maneuver, but obviously you got SCM, so that means safe combat maneuvering speed, I would say. Um, so doing that really helps as well. So with the loadout here as well, you can do a stealth build or you can just have a like an all round strong hardy build, which is what I've got here. So I'll go over that build and there'll be a link down to Urkel Games down in the description. So with this build, uh, we're using, so we're using two Tarantula Mark III ballistic cannons. We're using a Mantis GT20 ballistic Gatling. So I've always got that consistent damage going on with the Gatling and then you've got that ballistic cannon just hitting them the target as you fire at them, which is really great. So you want the two Tarantulas on your wings and you want the Mantis at your nose uh, as per se. So for the missiles, I've just left, left them as the Arrested 3s and the Ignite 2s. Now you can change this if you like. You can put a 341 MSD on there and that will give you access to more missiles. Now as with the Arrestors, um, I would leave them on there because obviously they got a longer distance hitting target. What I mean is that they can hit from, they can lock on from 9 kilometers away, which is also really great and something that you're going to need later on um, if you're doing some combat in the ship and it's VHRT or HRT. But this thing can take a good hit and I would suggest overclocking the power supply and your shields. So for the shields as well, we got the Palisade. So with the Palisade, the reason I'm using that is because it's industrial, it's got the most HP in it, unless you go to a um, Assault, Assault Wrath, Assault Wrath? Yes, a sword wrath. You go to a sword wrath as well, which is a little bit better, and that comes off of the talent. It's like a mini, um, uh, the mini shield that you would see on the Prowler, the Sucrons. But definitely the Palisades are a good shield, and they do a, quite a good job. They got 7920 HP, so going from that, you wouldn't have any issues. You can get them at Creole 4, Hurl 3, Bajini Point, and you Babbage. So like I said, Urkel links will be down in the description. For the power plant, we've got a Breton. So this one distributes the most amount of power. Now you should be all right with a smaller power supply, but I would definitely suggest getting a decently sized one. You can even get the JS300, or if you wanted to go to stealth build, you go the slipstreams, but you might have a few issues there as well, depending on the build, if you do go with this build. For the coolers, we got Ultra Flows on there as well, obviously being that they are a good high, um, they got the most capacity for cooling. There's two of them on there, so it does it really well if you don't want to overheat and you have that intermittent issue with your weapon sometimes. So that's just using that really does break it down and help you out a fair bit. So going on from there as well, for the quantum drive, I wouldn't be going and putting any sort of stealth or military drive on there like the VK00 because that doesn't really get you too much distance. A lot of people here already know what they're going to use and what you will need. Now. For a lot of people, you probably could go to like a Voyager, uh, you go to a Flood uh, expedition. It's It all depends. I wouldn't get a rush. This is under civilian. I would go an Atlas. Now that's a semi-decent speed, but you can get a Voyage civilian grade B. Now that said, that said, it's only a grade B, so I would get a grade A Atlas. It is a bit slower, but it will get you everywhere you need to be. 
So just thinking about how you want to set this ship up and set your drive up is really good. It might get you to a system which is really great. It might be a little bit slow but at least it's going to get you there and do as you need it to because this ship is really great. Now with the weapons I wouldn't go putting a um, gimbal on this for the like to go to a size 2, I mean you can. Uh, you could also put dead bolts on the front of this which are also really great, a friend of mine has been using that and he's been slaying with them, like absolutely slaying with them. Tomix, he'll be down in the comments section, he is the space Jesus and uh, yeah he's pretty good with knowing uh, the ships and the builds and we, we usually share these and this is my build, this is my um, variation of it and he uses dead bolts which also do really good, I just don't do that great with them so space jesus i know they're great but yeah i just don't do that well with them <laughs> um but yeah the gladius all around it's a great ship now obviously that interior is so crisp right now it's unbelievable like you can actually switch between the different huds inside the actual um cab there and you can oh there's just all different options just take the time to get that ship if you don't have it buy it and just go through it or borrow it off someone it's great like it's just fantastic um i did have a pledge one but i don't have it anymore but pretty much this has been a video for today guys i hope you enjoy these build videos let me know down in the comments what you want next on a build video because i'm very keen to keep doing these but it's been baron i'll see you in the verse